From the dust of the earth to the edges of the cosmos, civilizations have been carving their stories into the pages of history. Today, we journey to a place where ancient mysteries are etched in stone and hidden within the dense jungles. Mexico, the cradle of the Mayan civilization. The story of the Maya is one that unfolds like the pages of a riveting novel. Born out of the pre-classic period around 2000 BC, their civilization bloomed in the lush rainforests of Mesoamerica. The Maya were not a singular empire, but a vibrant collection of city-states sharing a common language, religion, and aesthetic. Their influence stretched far and wide and their complexity of thought rivaled that of contemporary societies across the globe. They were the architects of civilization, both mystical and practical, creating art and science that mirrored the intricate fabric of the universe. Mayan architecture was a testament to this cosmic perception. Nestled within the heart of Yucatan Chichen Itza, known as the City of the Wizards of the Water, presents a majestic spectacle. The grand edifice of the Temple of Kukulkin, or El Castillo, rises to the sky, each of its four faces graced with a flight of 91 steps. Include the top platform and you will find a total of 365 steps, each step a tribute to the days of the solar year. But the real spectacle unfurls as the equinox sun descends casting a shadow that snakes its way down the pyramid, manifesting the deity Kukulkan himself. This is not a whimsical play of light and shadow, but a tangible echo of the Mayan's astronomical acuity carved in stone. There are many striking parallels between the pyramids of the Maya and those of ancient Egypt. Two cultures separated by a vast ocean, yet united by a profound understanding of the universe, mathematics, and a shared yearning for the divine. Much like their Mayan brethren, Egyptian pyramids were celestial compasses, aligned with Orion's constellation. These pyramids were not mere tombs or temples, but stone canvases on which they sketched their cosmological understanding. Each monolith across continents stands testament to humanity's eternal quest to find our place in the grand cosmos to echo our understanding of the universe in the edifices we raise. This cosmic connection becomes more tangible as we delve into the verdant arms of the Chiapas jungle, home to the enigmatic city of Palenque. Among its hidden gems is the temple of the inscriptions, the city's tallest structure. Beneath this pyramid temple lies the final resting place of the great King Pakal. His sarcophagus, an exquisite panorama of ancient art, carries the narrative of Pakal's journey into the afterlife. The glyphs adorning this sacred coffin, when deciphered, unveiled a treasure trove of knowledge about Mayan beliefs in life, death, and the cosmos, a testament to their intellectual and spiritual expressions in architecture. From the dense heart of the jungle, we journey to the Yucatan Peninsula's steep and jagged cliffs, where Tulum, the fortress of the dawn, gazes upon the Caribbean's azure expanse. Tulum was more than just a city, it was a fortified port, a linchpin in the Mayan maritime trade network. El Castillo, Tulum's crowning glory, though devoid of the monumental stature of other Mayan pyramids, had a unique role. It served as a beacon, its temple top windows guiding Mayan canoes through the nocturnal seascape. This clever architectural adaptation reflects the Mayans' strategic insight and their intimate relationship with the sea. Their architecture, therefore, was not just a structure meant to contain persons or objects. They reveal the builder's intimate knowledge of the heavens. In the grand theater of the cosmos, the ancient Maya were not mere spectators but skilled choreographers. Under the velvet canopy of the night sky, they traced the ethereal ballet of celestial bodies with unwavering precision. This diligent stargazing bore fruit in their intricate calendar system, a sophisticated orchestration of mathematical and astronomical knowledge. This wasn't a simple academic endeavor, but the very pulse of their socio-religious life 
determining the rhythm of their agricultural practices and religious ceremonies, predicting celestial phenomena from solar and lunar eclipses to the cycles of Venus. They peered not just months but centuries into the future. Their intellectual pursuits stretched far beyond astronomy. The Maya developed an intricate system of hieroglyphic writing, one of humanity's first written languages. These hieroglyphs, far from being the preserve of an elite class, were etched across the fabric of Mayan society. From stelae to pottery and in the pages of their codices, they told tales of deities, kings, and cosmic journeys. Their surviving codices, despite their scarcity, open a window into the profound depth and complexity of the Mayan mind. And in addition to mastering the sky and the written word, they were also adept at finances and business. Their networks pulsated across the length and breadth of Mesoamerica. This was not merely a web of goods. Cacao beans, obsidian, jade, cotton textiles, and quetzal feathers, but a vibrant tapestry of ideas, beliefs, and technologies that enriched the cultural palette of the Mayan world. One such thread in this tapestry was the coastal city of Tulum, a testament to the Mayan mastery of the seas. Its highest temple with a lighthouse guided traders to a safe harbor, underscoring the Maya's strategic foresight and navigational acumen. Thus, the Maya, through the lens of time, emerge not just as stargazers or scribes, but as a multifaceted civilization. They were astronomers, linguists, traders, engineers, and artists who wove together a tapestry of knowledge, commerce, and culture that resonates through the ages. Their celestial maps, intricate hieroglyphs, and sprawling trade networks continue to echo their sophisticated and versatile civilization's rhythmic harmony. Why then did they collapse? Despite their remarkable advancements, the Mayan civilization found itself teetering on the edge of oblivion around the 10th century. As if an unseen hand had turned the hourglass, their vibrant cities were gradually abandoned, succumbing to the relentless embrace of the jungle, leaving behind an echo of their once resounding grandeur. What precipitated this dramatic fall from grace remains a puzzle, each theory offering a piece but failing to complete the overall picture. One prominent theory proposes a devastating drought, a climatic calamity that turned once fertile fields into barren landscapes. For a civilization that thrived on the abundance of their corn harvests, this could have been a blow too severe to withstand. Evidence from lake sediments and stalagmites indicate extended periods of drought, aligning with the timeline of their decline. Then there is the theory of rampant warfare. Inscriptions on their stone monuments reveal an increase in militaristic activity towards the end of their classical period. Internal strife, conflicts over resources, or power struggles may have destabilized the societal structure, fracturing the unity of the Mayan cities. These theories illuminate a facet of the complex downfall, but do not conclusively solve the riddle. Some scholars suggest that it might have been a combination of these factors, a domino effect that led to their eventual collapse. Centuries slipped by until, like a thrilling plot twist in the human narrative, their ruins were brought to light once again. The emerald shroud of the jungle was peeled back, revealing a lost chapter in the great anthology of human civilization. Today's Mexico, with immense pride, cradles its Mayan lineage these skeletal remnants serve as living museums, the pulse of a cultural identity etched deep in the heart of the nation. In the grand narrative of human history, the Mayan civilization stands as an enduring testament to our timeless quest to understand our place in this vast, boundless universe. The stones of Chichen Itza, the glyphs of Palenque, and the watchtowers of Tulum all echo a civilization that aspired to reach the stars. And indeed, in their remarkable journey of discovery, they did. Their legacy invites us to learn, to reflect, and to understand. It underscores the importance of harmony between nature and progress, the value of knowledge and discovery, 
and the fundamental truth that we are but a fleeting moment in the grand chronicle of time. We hope you enjoy today's episode and that it has given you a fresh perspective on the world we live in. If you enjoyed this project, please consider leaving a thumbs up and sharing it with others who might find it intriguing. Your support helps us reach a wider audience and inspire more people to explore the wonders of our world and offer different perspectives. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.